I don't really think they needed to do as much as they did. However, I think right. now you're going to get a Trundle ban. Yeah, most likely. Otherwise, this And a should... Lee Sin ban. <laughs> yeah. Again. Now that there's a lot of bans, yeah. Okay, Nar, interesting. Yeah, I think that orange team, or orange team, yeah. Our orange team uh, from UTSA here should probably be looking for the same bans because they, it worked out to their benefit and they really didn't... Uh, they didn't really, like have any problems that game it was very much a one-sided game okay i agree with the least end band there that's um it's really you know something that needed he, he put a lot of work into that map at the start of the game so having him yeah. on least in again is uh definitely not something you want um we probably are will see a rexai get taken somewhere or a gragas um he played at least the first game wasn't quite as effective as his uh, Lee Sin, though. Indeed. Ooh. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see the Rek'Sai ban here. So what happens? So so here's the question. Right? What happens when uh, when straight ripping is not on Rek'Sai? Because so far we've seen Gragas that Doctor. Yeah. Yeah, he needs to play Gragas. I think he needs to play Gragas here 100. percent Because I I've, I haven't seen his Echo, but I can't imagine he has played it too much. Um. Uh, um, and also his Gragas is very strong. It's almost as strong as his Rek'Sai, uh, I would Jarvan. say. They might play Jarvan here, actually. Uh, it all it all depends on what they what they remember uh, about their comps, because uh, it's very much I feel like very much that last game they didn't really have a an idea a feel, an idea of uh, of how to make their own comps that would suit their style. That's to be a lot of discussion going on right now. I mean, you have uh, eight seconds left to get a pick in, and nothing coming through. Yeah. Two seconds left. Gragas getting picked, as we thought. There goes Gragas. So what else is left here in uh, Shirty Elm's pool? Will he take uh, Will he take a lease or something else? He probably will take a lease, or he might take something else. But a lease is one of his better champions. Um, the bread. Bart is Bard is definitely something that uh, that uh, Zero can play. Uh, he played it uh, a few days ago um, in our in in the ranked fives, and he was he did actually pretty well. Uh, Wukong, I haven't seen Shirty Elm on Wukong uh, in a long time. Malphite is something that Shirty Elm definitely can play, and uh, he's pretty strong as well. Uh, but we might not be seeing a jungler here. We might definitely be seeing a. A Fiora pick from uh, uh, from Wardier. Um, I think that that actually could be a pretty strong pick here. Uh, Malphite could also, uh, like I said before, it's also a flex pick. So if they pick Fiora next in the next round, Malphite can be going uh, can we go either jungle or top. Um, they can also pick Trundle, which is very very good. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Um, Oh, Shadow figure on that Soraka uh, might be looking for it. I'm not quite sure. I think that if they pick Soraka, uh, purple team will just pick a really hard engaged team. Uh, now, if they pick Zillion, now this could actually be a pretty good pick here because it gives so much uh, viability to like all the those all in and getting caught. It it's very very forgiving. Uh, <laughs> Zach cover over. That's funny. Zack ADC. Indeed. Yeah, um, I do foresee Zillion coming in. Uh, Shadowy Figure's been liking it a lot recently, so that'll definitely be a pickup. And Elite Muffin is probably going to lock in the solution. Oh, Teemo. there's a Teemo. No, there's a solution. There's a solution. Uh, Lucian's Muffin a pretty trolling. strong champion. Muffin trolling. <laughs> So Lucian is a pretty strong champion. I don't think he would want uh, want anything else there. Um, really, really strong champion in my opinion, especially with a with a Zillion that can land a stun. If you land those double bumps and stuns, it's almost a guaranteed win um, in the whole trade. Corky, here we go with Trundle. 
All right, so we're gonna see a Malphite jungle if the Trundle is actually locked in, and Corky is a very strong champion as well. Now the Corky Lucian lane is actually a pretty volatile one; it can go to both, um, but uh, it all it all it all depends on wh whether or not Corky can hold on to his Q until uh, the Lucian can E, or if Lucian yep. E's E's the Corky Q because that's a lot uh, that's a lot of uh, Corky's damage. What do you think about? Of these comps and these picks so far um i do agree with you there like i i very much see it as you know who uses their e or their q first um lucian has a really good uh trade potential against corky even if a q hits uh but i think a lot of that lane is going to become if zillion lands bombs if zillion lands bombs yeah it's a whole different story um you're going to force valkyrie and whatnot and there's going to be very very little aggression happening um, from the the Corky in general, I mean he's he can bully a lot of people just Q auto. But I think with that potential of uh, the stun coming in from Zillion and just the natural poke harass that he has, uh, it it's probably going to nullify a lot of that. Um, I we did see the Trundle come in again, which kind of we expected. Uh, I think it looks like Jax is going to be the answer for it. Uh, I don't know how how much of an answer it is, but it's looking like that's what Nandi's going to favor right now. Yeah, Jax can be a pretty good uh, answer. I don't I don't think it's the best, but it's it's something, right? In the late game when they uh when if they get there, I think definitely they can uh, they can answer that, but I don't think uh, in the early game it's going to be very very good. Uh cuz Trundle is very very oppressive in the early game, especially when he gets all three of his abilities. Yeah, uh, I am liking the fact that, you know, Jax will have a nice uh, Counter-Strike to dodge a couple autos in between and land the stun that he probably would need to beat Trundle. It just, I think it's going to depend on how much poke he can land with the auto-auto jump W. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, how much, and as long as he's not using his Counter-Strike to jump in and stun, I think it'll be really good. Uh, we'll probably see early in if that's the kind of uh, strategy he's going to employ. Because if he burns his Counter Strike before they even start trading, uh, you're probably not going to see a good lane for Jax. Lux coming in as the last pick uh, against yeah. um, against the Zier here, and I mean, I guess it's being picked up as a nice little bit of wave clear. Uh, you're just kind of staying back. There's probably not going to be too much of a potential for uh, for Lux to land kills on Azir if he's playing well. I, however, do think that Azir can close the gap and put Lux wherever she doesn't want to be. Yeah, definitely. I think that that's something that we're going to be looking at, whether a Mexican can uh, shurim a shuffle, if you will, uh, Lux into his turret or into the... Uh, one of his friendlies, so that Gragas or uh, Zillion or maybe even Jax can, you know, take her down and CC her. Um, so that's going to be interesting to see. Um, Corky is actually a pretty, pretty important uh, part of the Orange, uh, UTSA Orange team's uh, uh, here uh, composition. Because I feel like they have a really, 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 like, very, very big uh, mid-game spike. And... Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see how it goes, but I feel like if uh, the the orange team actually gets ahead, they if and if they finish in the mid game, they'll finish out strong. But if they start stalling it out towards the late game, then I I'm pretty sure the blue team is gonna win. At least have the upper hand. Yeah, I think definitely. Um. You're probably going to want to avoid those fights like we already know. You know, Corky ends up with, like, Trinity Force and whatnot. Uh, you, you were talking earlier about, you know, what percentage, and which, you know, does have to be checked on, uh, what percentage damage is going to be magic damage over uh, his physical damage output. But he still has that power spike as usual with, you know, picking up a Trinity Force. Um you're going to want to probably avoid too many fights and small skirmishes, even though Lucian does really, really good in those. Um, Weird Deer's TPs have been pretty good uh, most of the series, and I think that if he makes his presence known again and has any type of a performance, 
like he did last game on Trundle, uh, they're going to have to do a lot of respecting. And with that Malphite, you're kind of picking your fights. If they want to go in, they're coming in. Definitely. The, the only, I'd say, disengage that they have is uh, Gragas Ultimate and um, Azir throwing his wall, and that's about it. Yeah, fairly yeah good you're range. correct. Fairly good range on their mid lane. Uh, Lux Laser goes really far. Um, po poke from the Corky as well. I mean, Trundle's the only one really having to walk in. Yeah, I feel like Thresh and most likely Malphite are going to be looking just to peel for Corky and Lux. Um, they're just going to be poking and poking and poking, and that's how they're going to wear down the blue team. Do I have to play some, uh, let me play some of this. All right, uh, I'll be right back. Yep, no problem. If you're just joining us, you're watching UTSA Orange versus UTSA Blue. Uh, current series is one to one. We're doing a best of five. UT Blue picked up their first win. Uh, in game one of the series, UT Orange picked up the second uh, victory. So we're going to see how this one uh, turns out. We've got completely different compositions than we had in the last two games. So we're definitely in store for a, a good set of hopefully another three. Hopefully you stay with us. Alright, so we're finally getting in on the rift and we're about to see what they plan to do at level 1 here. Um, I think both teams have uh, some potential for a level 1 invade. Uh, however, I probably wouldn't advise, uh, advise it to um, UT Blue right now. I think the Thresh Hook uh, is probably the biggest factor outside of the Lux Binding. If one lands, the other one's going to land and uh, you're not going to have a good day. At this point, all we have is uh, a counter strike. So, I think they're just going to set up a line of scrimmage here. I don't think much is going to happen early in the game. All right, here we go. I'm back. Welcome back, Mr. Raku. Uh, we are seeing the invade coming in from uh, UT Orange. They are all in that little pixel brush. Uh, I think they're waiting for someone to check, but like I said, uh, I don't think anyone's going to walk over to that brush. We, uh, UT Blue doesn't want to see anything. They are going to be spotted out by the Zillion, though. They definitely know that they're invading. I think that's going to be the end of it, though. They got a little bit of vision, nothing to really tell you anything. And uh, I think they're going to go to their uh, respective lanes. They got a little bit of uh, level 5 mastery flashing there. Uh. <laughs> 
All right, yeah, it seems like everyone's gonna be starting pretty normal uh, jungles here. Everyone in the bottom side, yeah. <laughs> Does no one double jungle anymore? Ah, uh, I don't think it's a thing anymore. I don't think it's beneficial considering TPing up top is like, you can push pretty hard now. Um, oh, a nice snare onto Azir. Yeah, and with it only being a minute and a half less of a cooldown, it's probably not worth it anymore. Yeah, Thunderlord's already proxed into mid lane, and Jax is trying to 1v1 here. So I'm wondering what Jax went for with his mastery. I'm hoping like a fervor. Zia's just going to be looking to do a ton of auto attacks. Jax getting in some good- oh, nope. He's got Thunderlords. Holy moly, here we go. Needs to be careful. Oh, oh tower hit! No, so greedy. Yeah, that was really, really greedy. Um, I figured Jax was waiting for his Counter-Strike to come back up while he was kiting, but that flash in. I think Where Deer was counting on the extra range that you get from the Chomp. Yeah, it's not enough. It was not enough, and he's picking up First Blood, both TPing in. Dax coming back with an extra Doran's Blade. Oh, oh wow, Lucian. what a nice hook onto the E. Yeah, as you pointed out That was out a really there, good hook. That was really, really good uh, timing on that hook. Got the Lucian on his E. Mid lane's heavily pushed in. Oh, Jax going super hard onto the Trundle. Yeah. I feel like Thunder Alerts might win here if you if you just back out. He cancelled a lot of autos yeah. there. I think that he would have won if if he would have just fell fallen back here after using yep. Thunder Lords. Instead he like tries to trade and then gets a lot of his health stolen. The longer the trade goes, right? We were talking about that the other day with uh if you can't kill your opponent in what, five seconds or something? Yeah. Nice hook. Doesn't get any specific trading damage. Still no. In the meantime, junglers have just been pretty calm. Don't you think? Um, I don't. I don't think. Uh, I, I saw Gragas try to do something in mid earlier, but um, I don't think he really saw any potential for it. Um, Lux is being shoved in pretty heavily by Azir, so there's really no potential for him to make any plays there. Uh, top lane is probably where you're going to get most of the action, honestly. And I think Gragas is making his way up there. Counter Strike a little early, but the Gra he might oh, bait him in go. for trading. The flash missed. Oh. Unfortunate. Yeah, I think he should have still came around the way he was going through Tri Brush. Yeah. He actually would have been fine. Yeah, I think he got a little scared that uh, Jax was taking a little too much damage. Yeah. Jax went in a little early. Pretty good trade for Jax nonetheless pushes uh, uh, Trundle out of lane. Yeah, Jack's trying to send a message this game. Not he said, not gonna happen again, buddy. But yeah, these uh, these lanes are pretty volatile right now. You have a little bit of counter jungling happening right now for the Malphite. I wonder if he's gonna come into the lane after. Let's see if he can get a little bit of cheese. Uh, he'll get spotted by that ward. He'll sweep it away. He's not close to level six, so he couldn't really gank yet. But he needs to. He needs to keep farming, cause if he gets level six before Zillion, he can definitely come down to this bottom lane. I think Jax is using his Counter Strike slightly early. I think he has to bait him into the trades first. 
But yeah, I think uh, he's employing the strategy now that you were suggesting as well. Trade until you get the Thunder Lords and then walk away. Yeah, that's what he needs to do. Otherwise, he's not gonna do um, anything. Oh, here we go. Jax is actually just load. Nice. Nice counter strike. Yeah, Trundle's sustain is way too much for Jax. I think we're gonna see a lot uh, happening once he hits level 6, though. Lux Binding oh, wow. goes through and lands. Laser coming through under half HP. Oh, Jax counter strike. Sun under turret. Oh, minions picking it up. Actually, it was the tr the Trundle ultimate. Oh, was I it? Think. Yeah, the damage. Yeah. Still, nonetheless, a really good yeah. trade for Trundle. And now Malphite can just uh, come around here and then start invading the jungle because there's really no. Oh, never mind. There's actually a TP. Oh, Lux needs to be careful here. Luckily, Gragas is not level 6 yet. Jack's making another trade. All in. Onto the Trundle. Counter Strike goes off. Undying gets proc. Malphite coming in. Unstoppable force. Knocks him up. Trundle with the pillar. Another jump from Jax with the flash. Jax has no flash. He flashed the last time. I don't and think Malphite can get that. It. Yeah. Unfortunate, but flash for flash is actually pretty important. Uh, because so far, actually, all Jax has been doing is uh, jumping in. So if Tunnel can actually get him into a knowledge situation, I think he could win. Now that he has enough flash. Seems like there's really nothing bottom lane can do. Oh, here we go. Lux actually taking quite a lot of damage from that barrel. Um, but he should be fine. If, Malphite is coming around for the backup. If there's a... Yeah, I was going to say. Go ahead. No, I, I, I saw something brewing, but it didn't turn out that way. I would have said if bot lane comes up, but the Malphite was there to uh, run interference. Yes. <laughs> Jax is uh, not letting that uh, death slow him down. Still trying to trade with Trundle. Oof, good amount of damage. Counter Strike goes off. The undying proc. Trundle ultimate goes out. That's more than enough to sustain him up. I don't think Jax has the potential to take him down. Yeah, but he forced the ultimate, which was really important. I don't know why Jax ulted. Um, it was alright, I guess. But if Trundle goes in right now, he's Jax is really not going to be in a favorable position here. Yeah, that's not really what you wanted. He should have just backed out of the Thunderlords. Yep. He's in a perfect position to later on just W and jump to one shot him pretty much. He's gotta he's gotta do the auto auto jump. Yeah. To get the burst early, because most of the time during yeah. those trades, he's not seeing the burst damage come in until after the Thunderlords procs. Yeah. Seems like Malphite is just going to try to invade here. Um, I don't think uh, Gragas can take his blue here. Both Lux and Malphite are there. And his here was kind of pushed in. A little bit of poke, but nothing getting through off that shield. Wow, I think slight misplay there. Uh, good flash on the dodge Ooh. for the Q. Oh! And the burst damage coming in. However, in mid lane, you've got Lux diving on Azir, and the E picks it up. Yeah, definitely. I think a little bit of misplay here from Thresh. Yeah. Luminescence oh. too strong. Wow! Elite Muffin chasing super hard through. <laughs> Almost the second turret to pick up the Corky. 
And the Jax picking up the Trundle. I did not see that. Did you happen to pick up what happened there? Yeah, so basically Jax all in him and Trundle tried to still fight him around the pillar. Unfortunately, it was not to be. Oh my goodness, the damage. Whoa. The laser. The Zillion though. The Zillion. All right, picking um, it up. The What's Azir got the down? kill, so that's really, really good. All right, so this is calm down. I'm going to go back and see that, what happened with the Jax. Yeah. Oh, and I just get back after watching that death, and Trundle and Jax are fighting again. It's almost like a replay. Yeah. Uh, they're very much a pretty fighty, uh, top, both top laners. They like to 1v1 each other. So the culling is doing a lot of work in this bot lane right now. Yeah. That's the second time I've seen Corky take the, almost the whole culling. Oh, wow, oh, what a hook nice. under. He's going to force the ultimate. He's got to clear the wave. The He's got to clear the wave. Oh, yeah, he's good flash. flash. He's got a flash. Greg is going to run into Malphite right now. They're going to do a little slap fest. Yeah, Malphite that's, that's not going to be what I want. Wow, good body slam, though. Yeah, Cass nice body slam, tower. but that's going to be it. That Man, was... these games are really interesting. Woo. Malphite did a lot of damage. I, yeah. I was very surprised by how much damage he did there. Cool, the Thunder Lord gets Brox with the Q. Seems like Malphite is going to try to take this blue buff from Azir, and if they deny this, it's going to be pretty significant here. Azir is not going to be able to get that blue. Now, we're seeing a couple items getting finished here. Uh, Trundle actually going for the uh, Hydra this game first. Um, apparently, Trinity Force wasn't to his liking. Uh, I don't I don't know exactly, you know, what made him differentiate and change up his build, but, you know, that's fine. It's all up to him. Uh, um, spell, uh, sorry, Frost Queen's coming in, actually, for Lux, uh, which I really actually think is great on her. Yes. It's a really, really easy way for her to land most of her abilities. Trundle ganking in mid lane. Oh, what a nice seer. Oh! Wow. Wow. I think Rag is just going to try and walk away here. Needs to be careful. Oh Rag my is... goodness, that calling. <laughs> oh, forcing the flash. The hook, however, he's not attacking, so he's just going to walk out of there. Corky yeah. almost getting killed by Piercing Light on the backside, though. Yeah, I think that might have been actually enough. Lucian is pretty strong and he has his essence reaver, so I might have been able to just be enough. Oh! Oh, forcing the ultimate out of Gragas. Ghosties are too strong right now. Malphite trying to bully. Unstoppable Force almost overshot it, actually. Getting the Thresh, Lucian. And getting the ultimate from Zillion. Gonna pick up. Maybe the Malphite as well. Greg is showing up completely. Oom, I don't know what he plans to oh, do. Oh, here we go, the package. <laughs> it got nothing. Package doing no damage. Greg is running interference there with a body slam. I don't think Corky will be able to pick up anything off of this. Lucian looking a little greedy. Might no, he did not take that rocket. Corky yeah. staying, hey, what's up? Taking two tower hits, no big deal. And Trundle doing Unfortunate. It. I think if Corky held onto the package a little bit more, he might have been able to. Yeah, I think he was foreseeing uh, more of a sustained fight in that area. And he ended up burning just to get there. Oh, well, Lux is oh. taking a lot of damage here. She might need to be careful. Yeah, uh, I think 
Mexican was being very respectful of the fact of them not having vision in the river. Yeah. Laser. Oof. Oh man, that final spark. Chunked him like a half, <laughs> like more than half his health. Final spark coming and showing that you know what it does damage, and uh, dropping the Zier down to one fourth HP. He is running teleport. He'll be able to get back, you know, just as easy. Zillion clears out a ward. All right, so um, right now. Vision coverage is kind of meh for uh, UT Blue. They've got three wards, four wards on the the map right now, and most of them are in bot lane. Yeah, you're definitely correct. Both both teams aren't actually doing too well in warding. Oh, here we go, the hook onto the Lucian. A nice play. Seems like calling. the calling TP is going to go down. And what a nice... Knockback here from the Gragas cask is gonna land. Uh, is that hook gonna land? No, Lux is in a little bit of trouble here. She's gonna go down to Elite Muffin, and, and here comes Trundle. I don't think he's gonna be able to do much. Azir still there to peel. I think at that point, damage. Gragas was like, "Come on, guys, get in the game because they're almost dead." Yeah. No one came over that wall. Gragas was all by himself for a long time, but he made it out and they picked up Lux, which was really, really good for them. Lucian going to be trying to uh, show his uh, power right now and just take it to other lanes. Him and Azir are going to get rid of those towers really, really fast. Azir setting up a tower for defense. I think Trundle, uh, Trundle's doing really well, but I don't know how much that Ravenous Hydra is going to do to uh, Lucian's damage. Yeah, I'm not quite sure either. Um, needs to be careful though, for sure. It's okay, Jax, Jax is Jax getting. Things. Yeah, Jax is gonna get really strong once he gets his uh, his Gwinsos, and that's really when it's it's probably going to turn. Because so far it's been going one against one and again, uh, and it's just been going pretty even overall. Trundle with slight leads, but Rage Blade really becomes a huge factor. I don't think you want to take that hook into the zillion. Yeah. Jack's trying to get away. Oh, jumped a little early. This will most likely cost him his life. No potential to get that, away unless he flashes. The flash, yeah. yeah. They're going to lose mid tower for that. Um, not too bad. Oh, Culling coming in. Almost 100 to zeroing the. Oh my god. Yeah, just <laughs> a really bad mispositioning there from Corky. And. The ultimate is used on Zillion, trying to 1v1 Lux in mid lane. Zillion saying, come at me, bro. We're getting taken oh, down. Oh, what a nice knock up onto a Zeta, and he's going to go down. Wow. Like three fights happening around the map, you know. We, we need to get someone who just shows replays. Yeah. All right, they're going to make a... Very much use of this time and uh, make sure they get their Rift Herald here. I believe it's going to go to Trundle so you can pressure top lane and force Jax into a bad spot again. Trundle doing a little counter jungling of his own, taking away the wolves here. Yeah, definitely. And now they have a lot of deep wards onto the blue side stop jungle so they'll definitely see gragas if he ever tries to come up top so but, yeah remember that rage blade now is done on jack so this is gonna turn the tides quite a bit oh uh, yeah i don't i mean i know trundle has a uh really good dual potential and uh ravenous hydra but uh it is league of rage blade honestly that and thunderlords um it does a lot Uh, calling being fired off, you know, just trying to kill another person. Yeah. It's pretty strong right now. Oh! Oh, the BM! The Flash of the Master. Yeah, definitely something uh, that both teams like to do a lot. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Trundle's gonna probably end up meeting up with the Jax here, but yeah, that pink like not gonna spot him. Down there. Yeah. Lucian, not even scared. 
I mean, Lucian is really far ahead right now. He, he's 5 and no one has about a 40 CS lead. Oh my goodness, Lucian is going to go down. Oh, getting the Zillion ult. He needs to get into a better position. They need to engage right now, probably. Oh, that was a really questionable Whoa. ultimate from Shirty Elm. The flash. Wow, they're going to dive onto the Azir Tower. Double bomb stuns too. Azir needs to get back underneath this tower. Corky diving super hard. Nice ultimate onto the Gragas, actually. Zillion, last man standing underneath the tower. Double stun. Might be able to get Malphite. No, the shield. Jax coming in. Getting it. Alright, so Jax shows up to the party a little late there. Uh, he gets a kill, though. He gets a kill. Azir picking up one also. Will Jax 1v3? Will it happen? I don't know, man. Not if Eternal those is pretty hit. strong right now. Oh, he's trying oh, to TP. Oh, nice interrupt, actually. Oh, Just no, fight. he's probably dead. Gonna try and kill the Lux in the oh burst. The TP my. coming in from mid lane. Azir coming in. This is gonna be good. Oh! I do not know if they can get him on the tower here. Azir does a I lot of know. damage. Yeah, and the culling. Lucian coming in to clean it up. The poke landing. They might be able to slow thrash enough, but I think they're just gonna back off. Yeah, that was a little bit questionable there. They should have probably fallen back. Um, there was uh, there was some good stuff there, but I don't know if the the, the two man dive on a no vision bottom turret on Azir is enough. Uh, it's like really that smart. Lucian was like, "Bro, remember me." <laughs> That was a really good calling, by the way. You know about that. 100% wipe steal. Lucian was all over yeah. it. Yeah, pretty much. And Jack's doing a good job to try and pick up the Lux when he got caught out. Really good pillar by the uh, Trundle to keep him there, too. Lucian back to shoving towers with the Zir. He'll be able to take that in a couple seconds only. Azir getting out. Super oh! With the hook by Thresh. Godly. Yeah, a very, very good hook by Thresh. But let's see what they can do here. If they can catch Lucian, they can probably go for a Baron here. They also have a really good initiation onto Jax. He is going to take a lot of damage here. Gragas is going to be snared. And Jax is going into the counter strike. Four man stun. Is it going to be enough? The hook misses. Oh, Corky, why are you all the way up there? You need to be careful. <laughs> The culling! We're seeing the culling all day! Yeah, I don't know if they can go for this. Bad no, exactly. no, no, I don't think so. And remember when the culling did no damage? This is risky. This is really risky. Lux needs to do something here. Oh, what a nice, zillion. Down, what a nice catch. Is, yeah, now they definitely can do this actually, because Zillion just burned his uh, ultimate, and that was the most yeah, important for thing dragon? for Jax. It might be a trade for Dragon coming in. Yeah. That was a very, very good catch there from Lux. Almost getting the blue as well, but unfortunately not quite there. Alright, going up two dragons to none. Um, not a great trade for Baron, but you know what? It couldn't stop it anyway, so you get what you can take. Yeah, definitely. Well, they're sporting a... Oh! Leap oh, up and getting caught out. Catch onto Lucian. Oh, he knocked him closer! What? That was not a very good... Uh... Oh, man! <laughs> wow! So much burn just to get the Lucian unstoppable force for a, a last hit onto him, basically. Uh, yeah. Flash is getting burned. Trundle flashed down, uh, Thresh Hook was, was missed, which caused that to happen. Uh, greatest barrel ever by uh, Straight Ripping, and yeah, throw Trundle into him. I don't know what him. that was, <laughs> don't ask me what that was. Flash over the wall, I think he's still dead, he is surrounded by UT Orange members, yep, he is down. Everybody was probably laughing at that barrel, I'm, I'm thinking about that right now, because they just sent him to his doom. Oh, uh, that's pretty funny. So, I'm gonna say right now, Tilt is real. Straight ripping going yeah. 06 right now in this game. Yeah, that Munda game really put him down. He needs and, to uh, uh, get back to uh, 
a locker room and uh, you know take a breather and regroup. Is it this is the time for the coach to step in, give him a pep talk? <laughs> <laughs> like we are valuable. We do this <laughs> stuff. Well, UT Orange doing a lot of work with that Baron buff right now. Trundle is actually sitting yeah. in that brush. Uh, I think that stun was really, really early. Yeah, it might have been, but it doesn't really matter anyways, because he's too tanky. Holy moly, here we go. Zillion's going to pay Zillion for that. Ult again. At least he's under tower. I think Unstoppable Force will come in. Oh, flash over. Dodging a ton of stuff. Yeah, nice flash. Gragas going down again. Oof, a zero wall coming in. Culling just clearing the wave basically not doing any damage that's even noticeable a on nice ultimate course. onto the azir but he gets away there's no follow-up really to come in after the unstoppable force yeah. but more than enough to send him back so that's wave clear down zillion taking enough poke he's going back it's jackson lucia now to make the clear i don't think this is going to happen this is going to be an inhib turret so oh, here we go jackson's like getting hooked here we go is he going to get a three man uh, stun here. Yes, yes, he is gonna actually gonna trade one for one with Corky. Malphite actually takes him down. Uh, hook onto the Zillion. It's gonna be enough. Here we go, Azir. Can he make the play is the question. He takes up, he puts up a turret here. Meanwhile, <laughs> Malphite just keep, keeps tanking it and the Lux final strike <laughs> does not hit, so... What well, did you think about that one? <laughs> um... I... <laughs> I don't even... I think that was a really good play at least from Azir at the end there to come back and to try and uh, try and at least push them out of the base. Um, I don't think there was really any potential for them to try and defend that and I think staying around for too long is what cost them a lot of uh, lives. Uh, however, I am seeing a, uh, a GG coming in from straight ripping uh, in the all chat. So I'm wondering if... Uh, just morale wise and he's just he's over it he's over it now he's on tilt it hurts going kill less and almost assist list two games in a row they really had his number honestly oh the jack's flash jack's the only one in range right now barrel getting oh cast going out Whew. Thresh almost stealing the red buff with a hook. For the next game, Gragas has got to get his head in the game because uh, right now this is seeming like over with Corky in his package here. He's about to run all over everybody on this team if he hits that. Yeah, definitely. And here we go, Corky, a uh, final all-in from nice. Jax. He gets a three-man stun. He is gonna get completely destroyed. He still has one ultimate, and Corky actually W's backwards. Is Gragas gonna survive? No, it seems like Wordier is gonna take him down. Here we go, Azir is in a little bit of trouble. He's gonna shift in sense away, but Corky is gonna flash away and take him down. Oh, here we go, Zillion is coming back into the fight. It's gonna get a double stun onto the Malphite. Lucian, oh, it's all right. He's all right. Lucian had to go Mercurial Scimitar. I think yeah. Him, he even needed that last whisper really bad. Yeah, he probably did, cause Lux was like one shutting. Yeah. Um, I I think right now. What they need badly is Last Whisper to come in, and Void Staff needs to come in for Azir. Yeah. Because there is, on that Malphite, so much MR via the Locket that's coming off the Thresh. He's actually, let's see, 141 base just with his own, and he's getting another 15. So, you're looking at 156, basically. Um, without Void Staff, you're not getting through that. All right, but we said, remember, we said that the mid game is where they were gonna thrive, and uh, we're getting to the late game now. Jax is gonna get. Jax has three items now, so. Needs to be careful. Where are you actually getting caught? He needs to run. But they're gonna lose a dragon for this one. 
Yeah, and that might be the final nail in the coffin because that first dragon is going to be 6% more damage to everyone in the orange team. Yeah, they definitely are. Uh, they were taking what they could get right now. They know that Weird Deer is a huge target. And Zillion getting caught by a death sentence. It's going to get played in. Flash over the wall. Right now it's looking good, but final spark coming in for no damage, actually. Corky picking up that kill. Yeah. And here we go. The start of the Baron is uh, there. Start of the Baron? In the meantime, yeah, the of the, the Baron. Game. Might be just what they need to finish out this game here. Everyone's standing on Raptors to get Raptors. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know what was happening there, but okay. Alright, so it seems like Orange Team is gonna buy uh, their final items, yeah. And then they're just gonna go push through mid and get that inhibitor, probably. Uh, in the meantime, Sherdy's actually in the top top lane trying to push this turret so they can get some more damage onto it and maybe even get that inhibitor turret so that they can finally finish out the, this game. Last Whisper has come in actually for uh, Lucian now. I wanna see if that even does anything. Uh, oh, what a nice game. knockback onto Lux, but there's nobody really to emphasize that. Barrel and Gragas is gonna die. Calling. Doing just about half the HP of Trundle. Not bad through shield. Yeah. Plus the the tankiness that Trundle has is pretty good. It's not as big as uh, you would think, but it's pretty big still. Uh, by the way, Trundle in this case is a full flesh carry here. Oh, here we go. Trunnel actually gets stunned. He is gonna ult onto Jax and he's gonna bite away and holy moly the damage. Wow! Jax nice flash up leap. Here. Leap strike gets the Jax out. That was really fast. Yeah, Laser, and here we go. Spark. Almost chunking them down. Unfortunately not gonna be enough and Orange Team is in a little bit of a sticky situation here. Yeah. Because they're getting relatively low. And the blue team is uh, is, is gonna be able to heal Oof, just by backing in. off base. Azir and oh. Jax on the other side flanking. Yeah, yeah I'm not sure what Trundle is, uh, what the team is doing, because Trundle Jackson is exhausted. taking a lot of damage here. Whoa! Emperor's divide comes through. This is the time for uh, the Lucian to shine here. He got a he's the got calling. The here we go. The first kill. The second kill is gonna go until Mexican. Wow. And in the meantime, their base is in a little bit of trouble. One inhibitor. One nexus turret is down. You only need one. Second one. You only need yeah. one. It's not in trouble. It's not yeah. the wrong. I said one, I said the <laughs> second one is in trouble. You Calm only down. need one. You only need one. <laughs> oh, but in the meantime, the inhibitor in top lane actually is gonna be attacked, and the inhibitor turret was definitely going down there. And uh, it's a little bit concerned. It's a worrying trend, boys. <laughs> All right. So what do we got coming in now? I think uh, 1,400 gold right now sitting on. Uh, Zier, I think he's farming up for that Void Staff like we were talking about earlier. Uh, he looks like he's going to get this mid wave and then he probably will recall for it. That should give them a lot more damage potential like you were just talking about. You know, this is the time for them to be getting back into the game. So we'll see when it comes in. Lucian finished uh, his Lord Dominix. So there's going to be a lot more damage coming in from him as well. And no, it looks like Azir just picked up a NLR. So he's not building a Void Staff. Interesting. That's questionable. There's MR on four people right now. Corky's got yeah. a Hercule. Trundle's got two of it. With his Maw and the Spirit Visage. I, I think that's questionable. I'm not sure if they need it that much. But it's still really good for uh, Azir. Uh, I, get, I mean against Azir. If they can get just one good initiation here, they might be able to turn around, but 
the cask needs to land for the blue team. Otherwise, they uh, they will probably lose this game. Uh, unfortunately yeah. for them, uh, they uh, their Jax isn't as strong as they they would want it. Their Lucian is pretty strong, but he's uh, not able to get into the 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 fight itself uh, because I feel like every time he tries to. Uh, someone's getting caught and th th they have to use the Zillion ult on that person uh, and yeah. uh, Lucian can't really do anything without a Zillion ult. That's why he can That's that's how he should be able to get in. Oh Here we go. The pack is actually here. Is that gonna be enough? No, Corky is too. actually gonna Ensemble of Force misses everyone a hook going out. Yeah we need to be careful here. So Gragas is actually gonna be taken down for the first one. Oh, Zillion actually gets snared. Is he gonna be able to? No. Seems like that kill is gonna go down. Jax is gonna ta get taken down as well. Lucian is gonna flash away. Azir is actually gonna get a pretty good auto attacks, but that's gonna be it for him. And Lucian, here we go. It's gonna be taken down. Quirky takes him down. <laughs> Final spark goes out. I'm not sure. Zillion, what you that's can do be it. it. Or... You can do it, Zillion. <laughs> he can save the team, I believe. Here comes the ghost. <laughs> Slow him down. The double stun onto Thresh, and that's gonna be it for that one. Alright, so there we go. You see Orange going up 2 to 1. Serious. You wanna, you wanna check on them? I think they're trying to bail. I think that's what's happening right now. All right, they're, yeah, they're bailing. All right. So, that's the end of that game. Uh, UT Orange going up 2-1. Uh, we're about to be checking in to see if they're going to stick around to play another game. Uh, we would like them to have played best of five, but, you know, I guess some of these guys need to get out and go do some stuff that they got to do. And, you know, we're playing you know, two... Uh, to the same school's team so uh, I'm sure they're not too angry if someone has to leave and they can't get another game in so I'm just I'm fine uh, we do appreciate everyone who decided to stop by even if it was for 5 seconds in the stream uh, and you know listen to us and watch us do our thing uh, we'll be trying to do a bunch more of these and it becomes a little difficult when we have to do tournament games because we can't really stream unless it's voted upon or agreed upon by both sides so that's one thing. Uh, this game uh, definitely was a story of uh, Lucian doing a lot of work and not not actually being able to get through this front line. Like, the other front line was really, really big. Trundle was a huge factor in these last two games. And I think that, uh, yeah, I think um, Straight Ripping not had a uh, great last two games here. Uh, I think I'll have to take a break, uh, cause the tilt is real right now. It really is. Um, I think, uh, Mexican on Azir, uh, didn't do as much as he probably would like to have done. Uh, I think with all the MR that was on that team, they were making it difficult for him to cut through, and, uh, I think he definitely needed a Void Staff. But, Jax, alone, in top lane, uh, traded a lot with the Trundle, and... I personally feel like, you know, uh, at that point in the game, you think, hey, you know, Jax is going to be really, really strong, but um, he just wasn't there. He wasn't, at that time, as strong as you would like him yeah. to be. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, they uh, they, they left because they were hungry, apparently. <laughs> yeah. No problem. I was just All running right. over the game. Um, All right. Yeah. I mean. I'm a, I'll go to Orange. You, you do that, sir. Um, so, yeah, I mean. Uh, you're looking at Corky, uh, Lux, and and Malphite. It's it's basically what we you know thought was going to happen. They don't have to really get into the team fight. The Malphite just jumps in, and the only person who has to run at you is the Trundle. And Trundle would get in every single time, and he had enough to resist you know uh, the bits of damage that uh, Azir could do with the MR that he had base and the MR that was coming in from the Thresh. You, you really couldn't deal with him. He was too strong. It was taking too long for Lucian to have to cut through him. And at that point, Lucian's the only one doing, like, real, like, sick damage, I would say. Let me see what's... 
Yeah, I mean, Azir did as much damage as Lucian. I mean, he's Azir, so that's on top of all the MR that they had. It's it's really... It was really a just... I don't know. It There's a lot of damage that could have been done that wasn't done. And I think the itemization was just... It was better on the side of UT Orange. Um, like I said, stacking that MR was really nullifying a lot of the damage potential of the Azir. Um, Jax, once again, was held down pretty early in the game and, you know, tried to get back into it, claw his way in, become a factor later on. He picked up a couple kills, but uh, when you're a Jax, you just got to be monster when 40 minutes comes. Like, you can't be something that uh, people just, you know, deal with and it's over. Uh, once again, um, we thank everybody who decided that... Uh, they were going to stick around and watch these scrims. Um, these these two teams were really like going at it. There was no real downtime in any of these games. No one was, you know, walking around like scared or trying to stall. They were they were in there brawling, and uh, you know we always appreciate trying to to cast games like that because there's a lot of action and you know it gets us excited to be you know just here to watch them. So uh, we thank you once again. <laughs>